I'm headed to the lane. The lane is the oceanfront. I think the big man is going to be down there. Guru, he's not he's not going. He said he may go to the bay later. Tide's low, uh, 4 o'clock. It's like 1 something now. I'm going to look around there for about a half hour, 20 minutes. If there's no targets, which I kind of think there may not be, coming back up here to the bay somewhere. But I got to try. We got strong southeast winds, and sometimes southeast will help us down there on the beach. But you don't have to. I'll get back to you. Stand by. Like I said, strong southeast winds. You can see the wish ocean is angry. Yes, sir. Angry ocean. Off and watching boat, umbrellas, and a fair amount of depositors. I like depositors. Kite servers coming up the beach. Stand, uh, stand by. and they are Dobermans. Nice Dobermans. Some Dobermans are just nicer than others. That's a fine Doberman right there. Fine. I don't know what that is right there. But under that X is the nicest sound I heard in three weeks. Nice and sound in three weeks. Stand by. Here's me a nickel. Nice. <laughs> oh, no, not a nickel either. Some kind of bar in someone. That's good. Oh, what kind it is? No, not American quarter. Not, not American. No. French, maybe. Uh, French. I don't know. What do you think? Good. Good. I don't see it. Uh, I. Let me see. Look, French. Look. Oh yeah. What's up, guys? It sounded good. I had to stop, double take on that baby. Thank <laughs> you. See that right there? What we call a wet spot. Come across a place on the beach, it'll be just wet everywhere. One spot. You don't see it anywhere else. No way. I like to hunt those, but you can see I went in a big circle, went in and around and around and around. I found a full tab, a piece of aluminum, and a stainless steel washer. And I'm dizzy as crap. No, I'm just kidding. I'm headed back to the to the uh, north now. I may have to go to a Thimble Beach and look around a little. Stand by. Going home. And the freedom. Dead spine. 
tiny blowfish. Some blowfish you can eat, not with the spiny kind. They got some big old spines on them. He's been dead a long time, that boy has. I'm getting the aroma now. I don't think that SEF goes deep, buddy. Look at that, like 50 scoops deep. Now, let me see it, there you go. Nice, Penny. 15 scoops deep. Ah, what a day. It's like Francisco Frederica. Something. I think it's a Spanish coin. On the back it says, oh no. Pesada. P E S E T A. Pesada. I guess that's a penny. Who knows? Might be a buck. It's light though. Headed to Thimble Beach. Three quarters, two dimes. That hook and knacky coin. Seven pennies, I think. Two pieces of aluminum. And this uh, stainless steel hook and knacky ring. Stand by. Well, I stopped by, my, stopped by my observation point for Thimble Beach before I actually parked and looked at it. Oh my God, oh my God, you ain't gonna believe what it looks like. It looks like what dreams should be made of. I don't know if I'll find anything, but the conditions are, you couldn't draw it on paper and it'd be any better. You'll see it in a minute. Oh my holy Toledo. This, the tide is way, that southeast wind has pushed the water clean out of here. Look at that pocket right there. Look at that pocket right there. And there's one beyond that. But I'm going right over there. Thimble Beach, right over there. You can't beat that. I don't care how you do it. The way it makes up here. Comes off here, gets damp, then this slough runs dead down through the middle here. On this side. This is, this is nice. Like I said, I don't know if I'll find a damn thing, but it's beautiful. Stand by. Here it is. Here's the beginning of it. See, it's deep right there. And it goes right on up like that. And there's another one beyond that. Guru's here somewhere. He called me and says, where you at? I said, I'm just getting here. Well, I was just leaving. He went that way. He went way east. He's coming back now. Stand by. First two targets were gray matter. This is the third target. It's a quarter. Stand by. Oh, well, there's a guru. He showed up. Guru. Big blade blue crabs. Are you pretty big? Huh? Are you pretty big? Oh yeah. Female crab. Yeah. That's a female? Yeah. That's why he's tearing the little one apart? Well, both of them's females. They got red claws on them. The males got big blue claws. Oh. See the edges are red? Yeah. The red on them, they're female ones. Oh. But they're good to eat. Like huh? Lipstick. Yeah. You got well, you got your stuff out there now? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna check it now. I may follow you out there. See, follow him out there to his trap or his bait or whatever he's got out there. See if he can see some more crabs. I like crabs. I don't know where his trap is. I don't see no blue in them. I don't know how he finds them. GPS, I guess. Magic. I mean, he blows a whistle and they pop up or something. I don't know. Stand by. God damn, I'll be in China in a minute. He found it. Crab trap. Uh oh, blank. Yeah. You need more, yeah. Oh, a fish or something. Hit some target out here with him. I'm up, up, up over my knees, you see. Some kind of nice target right here. It sounds nice. Stand by. 
where I am. I'm just outside the waves away. I don't know what the hell this is. I guess I should have guessed a fishing rig with a big fat gray matter on it. <laughs> now this is the second one. You can see it starts out here and runs up in there. And there's one more, it looks like a deeper one beyond this one. This rock there, rock there, rock there, rock there. The little rocks all along here, but I ain't finding much. No, you've seen what I found here. Interesting place. Hey, look at her. Hey, 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 get that water. There you go. That's what you want to do. Get in that water. Get away from the old seagulls. They eat you. That's right. Them seagulls that eat you for supper. You better go hide. We transition to the other side of here now. There's a guru right there. A little big slew where he is. He's working up in the edge of it. He's digging some targets. I don't know if he's found anything or not, but he's, he's steady digging. Stand by. May not be a class ring. It just kind of looks like a class. I don't see no dates or no here. numbers or nothing on it. That's why I was thinking it was a class ring. But I see, I don't see nothing now that relates to class it's a on it. Pretty ring, ain't it? Yes, yeah, beautiful ring. You find them pretty ring, man. You just find that crappy stuff, and you find all the nice taquitos. That's the first <laughs> one I found. On Yeah, they found a nice old nickel. Look at it, encrusted in that piece of iron. I can't tell what year it is, but it looks kind of old. Yeah. But look at this ticket right here the Guru found. Guru got 10K. I mean, a nice 10K, too. Oh! Big and fat. It's a pretty ring, ain't it? What is that? A There's Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed's joining the party today. Yeah. Well, a little party today. E.D. It's, it's Ed builds his own scoop. He's got a new scoop now. Look at this baby. <laughs> yeah, you can make him out of room and you'd be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then it wouldn't, wouldn't hold up any time. No, it wouldn't. No, this is yeah, sir, that's a heavy duty baby right yeah. there. Stainless. What size holes on it? Three, five, eight, three? Uh, about seven sixteen. Seven sixteen holes, man. Look how wide that thing is. That's a nice scoopy. Is it empty pretty good? You're a young man. That's a young man scoop. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Young like Ed. <laughs> well, here's a nut from Thimble Beach. Nothing exciting? But some targets to keep your interest peaked. And that guru came in my hole and sucked that big, beautiful 10K ring out of there. Oh, oh, Elizabeth, I'm having a heart attack. Forecast sounds really bad for tomorrow. We might have to stay home. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. Good luck. <laughs>